Hi everyone, it's Dom Designs here, back with a new Adobe Illustrator drawing tutorial. In today's video, I will teach you how to draw an ice cream in a waffle bowl as a flat design illustration. Also, stay tuned as I have a new coloring trick you'll want to learn. If it's your first time on my channel and you're interested in all things Adobe Illustrator, then you've come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Now let's dive into this. I'll start by creating a 1920 by 1080 document in Adobe Illustrator and bring in my rough sketch. Now I suggest you don't copy my exact illustration, but that you can learn some tricks and be able to create your own version of it. These tips will apply to any drawing you wish to create. This illustration was inspired by the image you see at the top. Let's go ahead and turn the sketch into a template by going to the layer panel and double clicking on the icon which will open up this box. I'll select template and the 50% opacity and then click on OK. I'll then create a layer above it and name it outline. Next I'll set up my outline specs to a black stroke at about 10 points thickness and I'll also round off my caps in the corners. I'll start off by tracing out the sketch using the pen tool in a mix of basic shapes. When dealing with a symmetrical image, I like to start with the left side and then copy it over to the right when I'm done. Now that I'm happy with the left side of the waffle bowl, I will bring up the pen tool and create an anchor point on the line in the middle. Once we have an anchor point, we can just select it with the direct selection tool and delete it. What I will do next is select everything and bring up the reflect tool. By option clicking on any center point, it will bring up a box. Make sure you have it set to vertical and then click on copy to mirror it over. We will then select the strokes at the center by selecting the two points with the white arrow tool and right clicking and select join. All we have to do now is round off this part. Awesome, now I will create the ice cream balls using the ellipse tool. As you can see, my circle is overlapping with all the lines on our illustration. That's not a problem. As many of you know, the Shape Builder tool is mostly used for creating shapes, but you can also use it to delete unwanted lines. So I'll select the circle and one of the overlapping lines and bring up the Shape Builder tool. You can then carefully click on the line you want to delete by holding down Option or Alt on your keyboard. As you can see, the line was cleaned up, so I'll do this for the remaining ice cream balls. This is perfect. Next up, I'll draw the chocolate wafer sticks. I will start by creating a rectangle to which I will round off the corners. Then, with the pen tool, I'll draw a little curve inside it. Now let's duplicate this curve by holding down Option or Alt on the keyboard and by dragging down. We can then do Command or Control D to duplicate the rest. Let's copy over a second wafer and then place them behind our ice cream balls. As we did earlier, I'll clean up the overlapping strokes by using the Shape Builder. Alright, now let's follow this up by creating our mint leaf. I brought in an example of a leaf I found on Google. With the pen tool, I'll start by creating the center line and then creating curved lines to create the left side of the leaf.
I'll then select it and copy it over using the Reflect tool. We can then merge both shapes by going to the Pathfinder panel and clicking on Merge. I will then add a line at the center of the leaf. To make the line seem more dynamic, I will bring up one of my favorite tools, the Width tool. With this tool, I'll select and drag different areas of the line to taper it off. Finally, I want my leaf to be flowing to the right. Before I begin the process, I like to create a duplicate just in case I make any mistakes. So let's select all and go to the effect menu at the top and select arc. I will play with the units until my leaf looks something like this. Once we are happy, we can select and go to the object menu and click on expand appearance to finalize the shape. Just as we did with the wafer sticks, I will place the leaf behind the ice cream ball and remove the overlapping shapes with the shape builder. Alright, let's just finalize the outline by adding some details to the ice cream. I'll use the pen tool to draw some curves, which I will then taper off using the width tool. We're finally done the main outline, now I'd like to create the details on the waffle bowl. So I'll create a new layer above the outline layer and name it waffle details. On this layer we will draw all those crisscrossing lines you normally find on a waffle. The reason why I'm doing this on its own layer will become apparent when I show you my new simplified coloring trick. Using the pen tool, I'll create a bunch of lines which I'll taper off using the width tool. I will also make the lines slightly thinner at about 8 points thickness. This is perfect, I love how the illustration is turning out. I can finally show you my new coloring trick. First, I'll create a new layer below the outline layer and name it color. Make sure you have the waffle details layer locked and select everything on the outline layer. I will also unselect the melting parts on the ice cream since we won't need them. You can then duplicate everything on the color layer by going to the layers panel and dragging down the little red square below to the color layer while having option or alt selected on your keyboard. As you can see, we now have a complete duplicate. I will then make sure to hide and lock the outline layer and work solely on the color layer. I'll select all the lines and go to the object menu at the top and select path outline stroke. And as you can see, we turned all of our line work into shapes. We will then merge all of the shapes together using the Pathfinder panel. Finally, I will right click anywhere on the illustration and click on Release Compound Path. This will make our whole illustration go black. That's alright because all we have to do is select the black border and delete it. And as you can see, we have multiple individual shapes waiting to be colored. I'll give all these shapes a gray color and unhide the outline and waffle details layer. All we have to do now is give our illustration its base colors. 
I will be using colors I carefully selected from my Dom Designs color palette which is available for purchase on my Etsy store. Check out the link in the description below. Great, now that we have the base colors laid down, I will add some highlights and shadows to the illustration. I'll start by adding highlights on the waffle using the pen tool. For this, I'll select a lighter tone of brown. I like to have my highlights on the left side and the shadows on the right. For the highlights on the ice cream, I will select the ice cream and do a copy and paste in place twice. This will create three of the same shapes superimposed on each other. I will then move over the top layer to the right creating a moon-like shape going along the left side of the ice cream ball. We can then select the top two layers and bring up the shape builder tool and by holding down option or alt on your keyboard, you can delete the unwanted shapes on the right. The reason why I created three shapes on each other is to make sure I never affect the original shape at the back. I will basically follow these exact same steps for the remaining shadows and highlights. I'll speed this up so I don't keep you watching all day. If you'd like me to have a live stream of the whole design process in real time, just let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, this is how to draw an ice cream in a waffle bowl in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts on this new coloring trick I have. And see you in the next video, cheers everyone!